more serious with the piano roll um, with some chord progressions and some melodies, right? So let's get to it. Uh, right here. So uh, before that, before we do that, let's open up a synthesizer. So what we're going to do is uh, open up Citrus. I love Citrus. Citrus is a subtractive synthesizer um, that comes with FL Studio. Uh, FL Studio 9 in the signature bundle. Um, it's great. Sounds great. It's amazing. Uh, no limitations. I love that. As long as the synthesizer can has no has no limitations, I love it. It's all that matters. Okay, let's find. So we're in the citrus category here, and let's go for some sort of string. And these are the presets, I guess. And we're gonna go into samurai. Samurai Jack sounds cool. Sounds cool. So right now, this is your synthesizer. Okay, I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but uh, this is it. It's not that complicated. If you take a look and make sure you look at your monitor over here and just hover over everything and be like, oh, what is what is everything? Uh, basically, six oscillators and your matrix and your waveform and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, that's not the sound I'm looking for. So how about we open another one? We can either drag and drop on top of Samurai Jack, or we can just right click, send to the selected channel, whichever the green light's on. Okay, and this is our new sound. Yep, there you go. I have a keyboard in front of me and I totally forgot I had it. It's a nice small one picked up the Korg nano key. Um, okay, so we're gonna use that sound. Okay, and we're gonna go to the piano roll. So we're gonna right click our channel, go in the piano roll. There we go. And we're gonna make our chord progression. Let's see here. Let's see on my keyboard. Yeah. Basic triad, I don't want to get too serious. Okay, I'm just going to draw it in for you guys. It's just a lot faster for me. Um, so there's our first one. Okay, let's put the next one in. Now let's just copy it. The next chord, let's see. So we got that. Let's do that. Okay, so we got that chord. So we got boom. Yeah, let's do that one too. Okay, so our chords are as follows. There is our song. Yeah, not really. Um, okay, let's just use that. I know it sounds a little basic, but uh, I want to get to the next thing really quickly. Uh, two minutes left. Okay. Uh, let's just add some dandy magic. All right, let's just do that. Let's go to square purity. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. Okay, let's use that. Piano roll that, and... There we go. Let's stretch that out. Uh, I think all the way there. Okay, sounds great. Now it's way too loud, so let's go in back to the sequencer and adjust the volume again for both of them. They're way too loud. There you go, sounds nicer, not nicer now. So let's just use our bass line here. Stretch that lower. Make it lower, not stretch it. Can't stretch something lower. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, to add the flavor of mine, let's see here. There we 
go. I found those keys. I like those keys. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in with this box right here on top right. Boom, boom, boom. Close it. I mean, make it shorter. That's not it. Is it? There you go. So let's just copy that, control C and highlight it, control V goes on top of it and we just drag it over to the next spot. So now it sounds like this. Sounds great. We're going to change that last part though, it's too repetitive, too boring. Let's see here. So we can fast forward with this dark line up here, your song position line. Okay, we're gonna fast forward right there. Nice. Uh, the dandy magic is not quite there yet. So what I'm gonna do? Let's go into the channel settings. Okay, go deeper within it. Go to miscellaneous properties, and we're gonna enable the mono portamento, and just mess around with the slide, the percentage, how much we want to do it, and see how it sounds like now. Uh, right there. Sounds great. Okay, so we got that. Um, I think we can make it a little bit and change it. So, in the miscellaneous properties here of this square purity synthesizer, we can either make it lower. I don't know why if you right click to the right side, which is usually the higher end of a piano or a keyboard, it makes it lower. So we're going to just move it the other way for the oppositeness. Alright, that sounds nice. Nice high pitched. Uh, lead happening okay so we have that um, our song is almost ready 